How's it going, folks? It is now time for the Royal Rumble 2013 results slash highlights and review video. I'll go over the results and some of the highlights of the show, in my opinion, as well as give my thoughts on the overall show. So, it all kicks off with the pre-show, and he had a big show interview with Josh Matthews where they show the footage of the first Last Man Standing match they had, Big Show and Del Rio, where Del Rio won the title. And then Big Show tells Josh Matthews, why are you showing this footage, and why not show the footage where I took down Del Rio for the count of 10 on SmackDown. And then he goes on about how Del Rio can't, you know, he was lucky, or he, he can't beat him twice. Now, as far as the rest of the interview goes, the pre-show stream on the on WWE's page, it was uh, freezing, uh, so I couldn't really tell what he said afterwards. But pretty much, it's an interview saying that, you know, Del Rio can't beat him again. And then you have Antonio Cesaro versus The Miz for the United States Championship. It ends up being an okay match. At some point, The Miz goes for his top rope uh, axe handle, but he lands on his right leg, I believe, uh, in the wrong fashion. So from then on, you know, he's uh, limping. And towards the end, Antonio Cesaro got out of the ring and then kind of sneaked half his way in into, uh, like, uh, under the ring. So uh, The Miz gets out too and uh, takes the, the apron off of Antonio Cesaro and tries to pull him back out. But Antonio Cesaro shoves The Miz against the steel that's, uh, you know, on the apron. And then he throws The Miz back in the ring and hits the neutralizer for the 1, 2, 3. So Antonio Cesaro is still the United States Champion. And then after that, they show a video package of the feud between CM Punk and The Rock to hype the match. And that, that was pretty much it for the for the pre-show because they were experiencing some technical difficulties and the stream like kind of stopped working at least for me. So, anyways, after that we had the first match on the actual show, Big Show versus Del Rio in the Last Man Standing match for the world title, and uh, I really enjoyed the match. It was a great Last Man Standing match. Also, like the first Last Man Standing match they had. And uh, this one had some cool spots. You had Big Show choke slam. Well, actually. First off, Big Show and Del Rio were on the stage, and then the Royal Rumble stage kind of like has this, I'd say, ramp, not necessarily a ramp, but something you can climb on, so they climbed on top of that, and they were fighting, and then under that, they set up a table, or I think Del Rio or Big Show, one of them set up a table there, I think it was Big Show, so anyways, Big Show grabs Del Rio by the throat, and then choke slimes him through the table from on top of that, uh, set, but Del Rio gets up at like the count of eight or something like that. Anyways, uh, at some point you had Del Rio working on Big Show's arm and putting his arm onto the steel steps or in between the steel steps and then hitting Big Show's arm with a steel chair. And then after that, he put Big Show back in the ring, locked on the cross arm breaker on that same arm. While at the same time, Ricardo took like some tape. And he taped up Big Show's legs, or Big Show's feet, on the ropes. Kind of like the last man standing match John Cena had with Big Show. Except instead of, you know, tying his feet on the steel steps, I mean, post, he was tying it on the ropes. While Del Rio had the cross arm breaker locked on the whole time. Afterwards, Del Rio lets go of the cross arm breaker, and the referee counts to 10. And Del Rio wins and retains his, his championship. After that, we get a backstage interview with Dolph Ziggler. It's Matt Stryker interviewing him. And, you know, Dolph Ziggler announces that he's going to be number one. He picks number one because that's what he is. He's the number one guy. And then Stryker makes a comment saying that you do know, like, you know, number one, there's only been two winners or something like that. And uh, then AJ kind of, you know, makes Stryker leave or run off. After that, Big E Langston takes over and pretends he's interviewing uh, Dolph Ziggler. And Dolph tells him that he's gonna win the Rumble, and after he wins the Rumble, he's gonna cash in that briefcase for the world title, and at WrestleMania, unify both the World and WWE Championship. Afterwards, you get, you know, a video package of a bunch of, you know, superstars talking about the Rumble, how they're gonna win it, basically hyping up the match show. And then you've got the Tag Team Championship match, Cody Rhodes and Damon Sandow versus Team Hell No. Pretty good tag team match. In the end, Kane chokeslams Cody Rhodes, and uh, Daniel Bryan locks on the no lock onto Damien Sandow, and he taps out. So actually, Team Hell No retain the tag team titles. I was actually expecting Rhodes Scholars to win the tag team titles. So you know what? I'm I'm, I'm actually happy about this. You know, I wasn't gonna be disappointed if Rhodes Scholars you know were to win the titles. 
but I'm even happier that, you know, uh, Team Hell No won the titles. And now I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that at WrestleMania we have Team Hell No versus the Primetime Players and we have the Primetime Players win the Tag Team Championships. Afterwards, you have Kane and Daniel Bryan backstage and they get their Royal Rumble numbers by Vicky. So they look at their numbers, uh, Daniel Bryan look, looks at his and shows it to Kane. And then Kane, he doesn't show his to Daniel Bryan. So Daniel Bryan gets mad, tells him, you know, I'll show you mine if you show me yours. And Kane's like, trust me, you don't want to see it or something like that. But anyways, in the end, Kane doesn't end up showing Daniel Bryan his number. He says it's bad luck. So anyways, after that, you've got the actual Royal Rumble matchup. Dolph Ziggler comes out first, obviously. He cuts a short promo saying that... You know, he's going to win the Rumble and that he really doesn't care who number two is and to just bring him out. And, you know, I'm not even kidding, guys. Once he said that, right when he said it, I was like, okay, I, I think this second guy, I think it's going to be Chris Jericho. And what do you know? It's freaking Chris Jericho. The lights turn off, break the walls down. You know, his, his song hits and, uh, man, he, that was awesome. So <laughs> right off the bat, we're hit with, you know, a kick-ass return of Jericho. I didn't expect... Jericho to return, but like I said, when he cut that promo and said, I don't even care who number two is, just bring him out. I was thinking, you know, it's gonna be, it might be Jericho there. So uh, they fight it out. They don't eliminate each other. Uh, we get, you know, the other Rumble entrance. As far as, you know, I'm not going to go over the whole entire match, tell you, you know, what happens. But, you know, some of the highlights, obviously Jericho returns. You also had the Godfather returning. You also had Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston, he was about to get eliminated. Dolph was about to eliminate him. Well, actually, he thought he was going to eliminate him. He ran in at Kofi Kingston and kind of attacked him or something like that, charged him and hit a shoulder tackle. And outside, right in front of Kofi was Tensai, kind of leaning on the announcer's table. So Kofi jumped onto Tensai or landed onto Tensai, grabbed onto him. <laughs> and from there, from, from there, he jumped onto the announcer's table so then he's like, you know, he's wondering what to do. Can, you know, can he jump from the announcer's table onto the ramp and back inside the ring or what? He, so it takes a little bit of time thinking about what to do, even teasing that he might jump. But then he asks JBL, you know, if JBL can pass him his chair. So JBL passed, passed him the chair and, uh, you know, not, not the normal chair, but the, com the commentator's chair. So Kofi grabs that, he gets on it. And he kind of like jumps with the chair, so kind of like he uses it like a pogo stick. So he does that until he gets to the apron, gets back on the apron, and uh, I think he eliminated someone after he did that. Not sure who though, might have been Darren Young or Titus O'Neil. Not sh no, it's actually Titus O'Neil, I think, was eliminated early on. I don't know, but he eliminated somebody, I believe, after doing that. And uh, then he got eliminated by Jericho, I believe, or actually might have been Cody. Oh, yeah, Cody Rhodes eliminated Kofi Kingston like a few seconds afterwards with the, uh, what's it called again? This is the disaster kick or beautiful disaster. So he hits that on Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston is eliminated. Anyways, you also got Goldust. Goldust returned. You had, um, you had the NXT guy, Bo Dallas, who won a tournament to you know, get in the Royal Rumble matchup, and he actually lasted a decent amount of time, apparently, according to the commentators, he lasted uh, around 20 minutes, until getting eliminated by Wade Barrett, he actually eliminated Wade Barrett, Wade Barrett got mad, so he eliminated Bo Dallas, and then hit him with the bullhammer elbow on the outside, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get a feud between the two, or a match between the two guys. Uh, for the IC belt or something like that. And then the Godfather also returned. He didn't last long, though. He <laughs> he came out, got in the ring, and Ziggler hit a running missile dropkick, or running dropkick on Godfather and eliminated him. So I think he lasted the round maybe three seconds, so he didn't break, you know, Santino Morella's record or, or the Warlord's record. Uh, and also, Santino Morella, speaking of, you know, records, he, he came out and he actually returned, but he didn't last long at all anyways. Uh, got in the ring, <laughs> threw everybody outside of the ring, but not necessarily, they all landed, like, on the apron, so then once they got back in the ring, they all attacked Santino, and somebody threw him out, I'm not sure who it was, might have been Dolph Ziggler, and also, Sin Cara returned, so, a bunch of superstars, you know, returned, but, oh yeah, and also Rey Mysterio did make his return as well, he didn't last as long as he, you know, as I thought he would, though, 
you know, uh, as far as the returns, really, I, I didn't expect any of these returns. Well, actually, I was expecting Sin Cara, maybe. But I was expecting, like, Shelton Benjamin, Carlito, uh, maybe to Tommy Dreamer. But uh, none of those none of those happened. Anyways, in the end, the final five were, I think, Randy Orton, Dolph Ziggler, Sheamus, Ryback, and John Cena. Out of those five, the, uh, the first one eliminated was Randy, and then after that, it was Dolph Ziggler by Sheamus, and then it was down to Sheamus, Ryback, and John Cena, so two guys who had already won the Rumble, and one guy who hasn't who had, who hadn't won it yet. Sheamus got eliminated first by Ryback, and then it was down to Ryback and John Cena. John Cena eliminates Ryback, so John Cena wins the Rumble for the second time, and Dolph Ziggler lasted a long time. He lasted like 40, 40-ish minutes. I don't think he surpassed Rey Mysterio's record of 50-something minutes. And Jericho being the number two guy, he also lasted a good amount of time, but also got, you know, eliminated. Actually, when Jericho came out as number two, I was like, oh, you know what? Jericho might win this. I could see Jericho winning this since, you know, he fell short last year. Maybe he wins this year, and you could have Dolph Ziggler win the Money in the Bank briefcase, cash in before WrestleMania, and then you have the two fighting out, uh, fighting it out at WrestleMania for uh, the belts. But uh, Jericho didn't win it. So anyways, yeah, John Cena wins the Rumble. And then, uh, there wasn't like some unannounced match, you know, um, between the Rumble and the main event. It was actually right after you had CM Punk. Well, actually, before the match, you had an interview with The Rock... Uh, talk about the match, how he's going to win the belts, and all that good stuff. And then you have CM Punk versus The Rock. I enjoyed the matchup. I'd say it was a good match. Great match, actually. And The Rock, <laughs> at some point, he was going to go for The Rock bottom on the announcer's table. And the announcer's table broke before he actually hit or you know landed The Rock bottom. Which, I had a feeling it was, it was going to happen. I had a feeling that was going to happen. And... Anyways, uh, The Rock hit one rock bottom, and that was right after the one on the announcer's table, you know, failed. He hit it on, you know, on the floor outside. CM Punk also got on the Anaconda Vice, locked that in, but, you know, The Rock got out. Anyways, at some point, The Rock went for the people's elbow, but then the lights went out, and you could hear some noises. You could hear The Rock getting attacked and being put through a table. By probably the shield, most likely. Yeah, it is the shield. So, anyways, they attack the rock, put him through the table with the triple power bomb, and then they get out, and the lights come back on. Nobody's there. The rock is down on the announcer's table, and CM Punk is inside the ring, smiling, laughing. He gets goes outside, grabs the rock, puts him back in the ring, goes for the cover, and actually gets the victory. He gets the one, two, three. After the match, he celebrates, but then Vince McMahon's music hits. He comes out. And he's like, you know, you know what I told you, if the shield interfere, I'm stripping you of the title. I know the lights went out, but, you know, Vince McMahon says we're not stupid. So he's about to strip CM Punk of the championship. And The Rock then gets on the microphone and says, no, 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 don't, you know, don't take the championship away from CM Punk. I want to be the one to take it away from CM Punk. I'm going to take it away. So he tells Vince McMahon to restart the match. So Vince McMahon does. The Rock gets back in the ring. Right away, CM Punk starts attacking him in the corner with kicks. And uh, he hits the corner uh, freaking uh, running running knee. And uh, he, he was about to hit the GTS, but The Rock got out. And then he hits a spine buster on CM Punk. Hits the people's elbow and gets the victory. Becomes a new WWE Champion and then celebrates. And that was pretty much it. So, as far as highlights... You know, uh, highlights of the night for me. I definitely enjoy Kofi Kingston's moment in the Rumble. Uh, <laughs> and uh, definitely Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho returning. I did not expect that. Especially not at number two until, like I said, when Dolph Ziggler said that he didn't care who number two was and to bring him out. So those were my two biggest highlights. And also the ZD Championship match. I enjoyed that match too. So as far as, you know, an overall rating for the show, I'd give it a an 8 on 10. I think that about represents how I feel about the show. You know, I enjoyed the show. Uh, maybe I wanted, you know, I did want CM Punk to retain, but, you know, I did enjoy the matchup, the Rumble matchup. Enjoyed that too. You know, I did want Jericho to win. He didn't win. John Cena won. But 
I, I enjoyed the match itself. And they also had a pretty good last man standing match to kick off the show. So anyways, that's pretty much it. In the comment section, I'd like to hear what you guys thought about the Rumble. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What was your favorite match of the night? With that said, I'm out guys. See ya.